we standing at part eight of creating your own Tetris. Every time we play the movie, a different shape goes on top of stage. The problem is that uh, we want this. This is the waiting shape, the one that's the next one. So you want that inside here and not here. And that's the third for today. We're going to be placing a shape inside a tip, a container. Okay, okay. Now, let's place um, right here. We have uh, three layers, if you guys remember from the first chapters of our tutorial. Now, we have this box here. Now I named, I, I did have a different shape holder somewhere, but I just don't know where it is. I'm just going to look for it. So, uh, shape holder. Number two is this box over here. Now let's go to our um, action script. And over here we have this command that states, you know what, after we found out the shape, we found out the color, just place it on stage. That's not what we want. We want to place that inside of that next box. So what I'm going to do is Let's see something like this, that shape holder, holder, number two, that's the name I gave there, dot add child, and then you put the waiting shape. Let's save it, as as for control test movie, and you can see that we have not on top, but inside of that box. Now, it's on the top left hand corner. We can always locate that by using the uh, X and Y properties. Uh, I have it previously done here, so let's wait in shape.x um, equals, let's say, shape holder to dot width. shape should show on that information panel and not on top of the screen. Control test movie, here we go, and there we have it. Let's try again, perhaps I made a mistake, control test movie, there we have it. Nice, so we have a shape on the next, the waiting shape, but and I guess it's time to move on to the actual shape that falls from the top of the stage. And for this, we'll be need to create a new function. Let's call that um, set shape. Function um, set shape. Oh, I'm, I'm creating the function. I'm not calling the function. Only creating the function. And. Um, Return any value. Let's create some brackets and it's time to do some hard coding. Now, first of all, current current shape, current shape equals where are we going to pick up a shape? Well, it's going to be equal to waiting shape. So simple. Now, now that we have a current Shape. Let's put this stage at child current shape. And just to say, if you guys are following, we created this variable up here at the beginning of our tutorial, actually a few chapters ago. Now that we have that, let's set the height current shape of x. Always be going to be the same height on top. Needs to say current shape dot y 
equals let's make a formula so we can get a, a round current shape. You know what? Let's leave the Y open for the meanwhile and let's go new shape so we have a new shape. New shape and we are calling the function new shape. Now needless to say we need to call that function first. We're gonna call the new shape, then we're gonna have a care a new shape to feed the current shape. And then we're gonna call set shape. And then we're gonna have the next. Let's I, I guess it's, it's going to work. Let's test for syntax errors, some errors whatsoever. Let's say that after all. It's an external file and control test movie. Let's see the results. Control test movie. Here we go. Now you don't see the shape because 255 is up there. Can't really see, but we're supposed to have a shape here somewhere. You know what? Um, go back here. Instead of let's comment out this line here. And instead of setting the x as 255. Let's leave this commented out and maybe just say this has to be here. Should be nice, look nice. File, save, control, test movie. Here you go. We have a next shape and we have a following shape. Let's test again. Control, test movie. We have the next shape and we have a following shape. Thank you very much for watching my tutorial. Here you go. No, s no errors whatsoever. And if you test our movie, you can subscribe from the website and make sure you don't lose any any future tutorials. Don't post everything on uh, uh, YouTube. And subscribing is for free. We have sponsors. Welcome to join. Welcome to subscribe. And thanks for watching.